what do we know about God that he's a spirit being and he says things and those things come to pass are you here the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words so my name is Andrew Hemstraw thanks for joining us if this is your first time here be sure to subscribe and if it's not your first time here and these messages are a blessing to you consider becoming a partner with us and we appreciate you greatly first Corinthians 15 34 for some have not the knowledge of God I speak this to your shame well I declare and decree unto you that many have not the knowledge of God especially the knowledge of God that we're talking about That's right. the fact that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today what do you mean the Holy Ghost is God in the earth I mean the Holy Ghost is the one who came into the earth that Jesus sent from the right hand of the Father mm -hmm. who is God in the earth today the Holy Ghost some have not that knowledge mm -hmm. some may give lip service to that knowledge but that's not the God they're walking with even people in the church have not the knowledge that the Holy Ghost is God and that he's the one that we walk with in the earth mm -hmm. you know how many people don't like this message and get mad at me many but there's also people who are hearing and their ears are opened and they can hear what the Spirit is saying to them even today right now you know the Holy Ghost says that to me is earlier today as I'm writing down notes he says tell them about me how can they know about the Holy Ghost if somebody doesn't tell them about the Holy Ghost remember in Acts chapter 19 they said we haven't even heard whether there be any Holy Ghost remember that yes. Yes. Paul said have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed tell them about me so if you want to know the Holy Ghost well you've come to the right place we're going to tell you about him but if you want to know him and walk with him you first must know this that he is a spirit oh well, that's basic well you know it's not so basic when you start to realize what people are actually believing and thinking he's not a feeling he's not a concept in your mind he's not a feeling in your body he is a spirit he is the Holy Spirit you understand so if we're gonna know him we're gonna have to know him as a spirit you are a spirit you have a soul you live in a in a body you don't therefore have fellowship with him in your mind if I'm gonna know the Holy Ghost and walk with him I have to know that he's a spirit so I can know that I'm walking with a spirit mm -hmm. so we're gonna have to have some knowledge about some spiritual things if we're going to be able to walk with him mm -hmm. his name is the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit should be obvious but it's not like I said to many people oh you're walking around with a spirit I'm walking around with the Spirit of God right. the Spirit mm -hmm. John chapter 4 24 says God is a spirit, spirit. Who must this talk be talking about the Spirit of God mm -hmm. is this too difficult God is a spirit and they that worship him worship him who you say him the Spirit so they that worship him must worship him in spirit are you here so if I am gonna worship the Spirit of God or the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit I'm gonna to have to do it in the Spirit mm -hmm. so right here it's, it's telling me that the Holy Ghost is a spirit and if I'm gonna do something with him I have to do it in the Spirit mm -hmm. that's my point mm -hmm. if I want to worship him I got to do it spiritually I got to do it in the Spirit mm -hmm. no when I say spiritually go oh yeah spiritually amen and get all weird God is a spirit they that worship him say him yeah. he's a him must worship him in the spirit world so to speak mm -hmm. are you here yes. or worship him as a spirit mm -hmm. and know that this is truth is this truth that I'm telling you that the Holy Spirit is a spirit 
yes well that's truth that's one part of truth so we have to worship him in the spirit or as a spirit in the truth that he is in the spirit and is a spirit Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 in the beginning God in the Hebrew word there is Elohim I know a lot of people like to look up the Hebrew I do too created the heaven and the earth and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water so in the, so in, in verse 1 it says in the beginning God or Elohim right so all we know up to that point is that it's God Elohim who created everything then in verse 2 gives a little bit more explanation here and it says and the Spirit of God well that that word of there isn't in the Hebrew it just says the Spirit God or Ruach Elohim then the Spirit God moved on the face of the waters so now all we know about God is that he is God and that he is a spirit this is literally the very beginning God introducing himself say introducing himself, introducing himself. to you through his Bible right mm -hmm. as a spirit God mm -hmm. who are you gonna worship the Spirit God and then verse 3 we see him doing something and God said so we have the spirit God God who is a spirit mm -hmm. saying something say God, God who, is who is a spirit says things. says things this is what we know about him so far and then we see him saying things and those things coming to pass mm -hmm. him being a spirit saying things and it coming to pass mm -hmm. him being God the spirit saying things say saying things, saying things and it coming to pass it what it the thing he said right. what do we know about God that he's a spirit being mm -hmm. and he says things and those things come to pass are you here yes I know sometimes you just got to say it as plain as you can if that's all I knew about God let's say you know that's all the Bible you had right thankfully we have a lot more and it doesn't disagree with any of that mm -hmm. and just adds to it develops it further we would know that God is a spirit and he says things and they come to pass if we wanted to walk with that kind of God how would we have to walk with him by saying, by saying things and by being in the spirit mm -hmm. remember you have to worship him in the spirit and we would have to be saying things in agreement with him if we wanted to walk with him yeah. together with him mm -hmm. are you getting this yeah. so God is a spirit and we walk with him by saying things that are in agreement with him mm -hmm. well let's look what happens here let's go down to verse 26 and God said let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion so here's God saying I'm gonna make man in my image so what image did he have to make man in a spirit this is what he was not doing with all of the other animals and whatnot mm -hmm. there's no spirit in the tree there's no tree spirit are you here the spirit the tree spirits no he made man in his image meaning he made man a spirit being and then he said he's gonna have dominion how do you suppose he's gonna have dominion by saying things how what was God's image he's a spirit that says things and they come to pass so man is now a spirit being that says things and they come to pass Amen. say this I am a spirit being I, am a spirit being. I say things I say thing. and they come to pass Oh, you just believe that you know you're one of those people that says things and those things come to pass <laughs> you were created that way Amen. how are you gonna walk with God knowing that that truth that you know now mm -hmm. you're gonna walk with God by saying things mm -hmm. and they come to pass I walk with God by saying things and they come to pass well I'm having fun anyway Genesis chapter 2 verse 7 
and the Lord formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into the nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul he didn't say that about the animals he said it about man he's just giving more detail about how he made him in his image that those words living soul can be translated speaking spirit God made man a speaking spirit say God made me a speaking, a speaking spirit and see when you speak you're supposed to believe those things come to pass that's how you're like God Genesis chapter 6 verse 3 and the Lord said my spirit shall not always strive with man who would that be that would have to be the Holy Ghost we're talking about the Holy Ghost he shall not always strive with man for that he also they also. also also is flesh what are you talking about also man is a spirit being but because he also is flesh then the Spirit of God is not going to strive with him or walk with him as closely as he would like to That's right. are you here because he also is flesh first Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 23 the very God of peace sanctify you wholly meaning the whole of you your whole spirit and soul and body so that shows you that you are made up of three parts mm -hmm. and the main part of you is that initial part called the spirit man yeah. that's the real you that's the part of you that's like God that lives forever mm -hmm. you also have a soul that's your mental faculties and things you think with mm -hmm. and your emotions and your reasoning and that kind of stuff it talks you out of a lot of things when you should be listening and body you know what your body is right I like how Kennedy e. Hagan used to say it with me he figured it out he said hey well with my body I contact and do things in the physical world so I'm touching things with my physical body in this physical world now you have the mental world which is a, a realm of thinking and reasoning and emotions right some people are more in touch with their emotions than others mm -hmm. cry at the drop of a hat I don't know why it must have been a favorite hat <laughs> but then the real you is your spirit man and that's the part of you listen that is the part of you that walks with God that is the part of you that worships God that is the part of you that can know and fellowship with God who is a spirit that was a big part of this message the part of you that can know God is not your mind and not your body although sometimes we do feel sen sensations in our physical body and we say oh that's the Spirit of God are you here or our mind or our emotions or our thinking the way we reason things out we might think about God in a special way but that's not how we know him and fellowship with him we fellowship him with him in the spirit Jesus said they that worship him must worship him in the spirit mm -hmm. so we need to locate where your spirit man is so that we can actually worship God correctly and walk with God correctly so God is a spirit our fellowship with him is spiritual remember he's not a mind he's not a concept He's not a thought is the Holy Ghost a concept and a thought no. I mean you could you could try to reason that out with your thinking yeah she is a concept and a thought but that's not who he is right mm -hmm. Jesus didn't say God is a concept God is a thought they that worship him must worship him in concept and thought <laughs> right did he say that no so he's not a mind meaning a concept and a thought he's not a body meaning feelings or sensations mm -hmm. although we do have those mm -hmm. we do have concepts and thoughts we do have feelings and sensations but that's not him he's in the spirit world in the realm of spiritual things if we want to walk with him we're gonna have to walk with him in the spirit he lives in the realm of spiritual things it's not a made-up world it's not a concept Do you understand it's a real world that's frankly more real than the one you can see and feel mm -hmm. the fact is he's an actual being and he has actual things mm -hmm. there yeah. 
not a concept not an idea actual thing Holy Ghost actual being mm -hmm. that we worship and walk with mm -hmm. in the Spirit say in the Spirit, in the Spirit. so he lives in the realm of spiritual things so we must become acquainted with spiritual things mm -hmm. if we're going to walk with him if we're going to know him does this make sense yes. remember how we started this off that some had not the knowledge of God I would say almost most have not the knowledge of God they don't know him mm -hmm. they don't know him the Holy Ghost as God so they have not that knowledge mm -hmm. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 1 now concerning spiritual gifts or spiritual things or things pertaining to the spirit brethren I would not have you ignorant mm -hmm. is this in your Bible yes, it is. one of the reasons I'm preaching on this so you can know him the Holy Ghost he would not have you ignorant 1 Corinthians 12 verse 7 but the manifestation of the spirit is given to every man to profit with all so here's the Holy Ghost who is a spirit and he's gonna give a manifestation of the Spirit mm -hmm. all the manifestations are manifestations of the Spirit they come from the Spirit because he is a spirit verse 11 but all these worketh that one and self same Spirit so we have the Holy Ghost he's in the earth he's working things he's giving spiritual things to everybody dividing to every man severally as he the Spirit wills where is he dividing them out in the Spirit thank you come to the head of the class this is where all the things of God the Holy Ghost come from and happen is in the Spirit and if you don't go there and you're ignorant of it you can't have it but if you're not ignorant of it and you do go there and you worship him in the spirit then you can have it all of them mm -hmm. say all of them. all of them they're all available to you he's not holding back anything it's just he won't strive with you because you're also flesh which means he's not going to come into the flesh I say this a lot and I hope people hear it the Holy Ghost is not going to come into your physical natural world and do anything for you ever you go into the spirit with him and things happen there always and then of course they affect the natural world say the things, the things I, do I do with the Holy Ghost the Holy in the spirit, in the spirit. affect, affect. The, natural world. the natural world he's the Holy Ghost he does everything in the spirit it's almost always saying words and when you can agree with him by saying the same thing his things begin to happen but it's not magic it's Holy Ghost you just got in line instead of missing it again and again and again with your old religious thinking first Corinthians chapter 2 verse 4 my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom why would that be where's man's wisdom up here in your head that would be mental right part of your mind it wasn't just trying to work things out in your mind God forbid we have to work everything out in your mind but in demonstration or revealing that's literally what that word means revealing of the spirit and power whose power you suppose that is his power so we're revealing the Holy Ghost and his ability to do things that's another good I like to say it that way power is ability to do things right so we're revealing the Holy Ghost and his ability to do things or the way he does things verse 5 that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of man or in the mentality or the way just thinking right but in the power of God or in the ability of God the Holy Ghost to do things a lot of people have not this knowledge but they don't walk with the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today 
they walk in some kind of mental gymnastic thing are you here mm -hmm. I'm showing you how to do it and he will be pleased your faith is what you believe your believing should be changing through the course of this message when you believe something we've gone from thinking that it is that way to believing it and believing is a spiritual force faith is a spiritual force you really can't have faith in his active ability to do things the power without knowing him and knowing who he is and knowing where he does these things mm -hmm. first Corinthians chapter 2 verse 10 but God hath revealed them to us by his spirit now do you suppose it would make a lot it would help an awful lot to know that he is a spirit mm -hmm. and where he's revealing these things to mm -hmm. where's God gonna speak to you in your mind or in your physical body neither one of those God speaks to you in your spirit and if you're ignorant of it and you don't know God as a spirit and where he's speaking to you you're gonna miss it every single time and you're gonna end up making up stuff but you learn to locate where your spirit is and know that that's the place where he's going to say things to you and fellowship with you and walk with you on a regular basis is there any benefit to that yes. yeah we can't know the things of God but by the Spirit of God if the Holy Spirit reveals something to you what is it gonna come through but the Spirit of God verse 14 but the natural man receives not the things of the Spirit of God are you still here yes. everybody wants to receive the things of the Spirit of God into the natural I want to receive it with my natural what do I have to do do I do I mm, tense up my whole body no I relax my whole body none of those they're all insignificant because you don't receive them with the with the natural man the natural man receives not the things of the Spirit of God so if the natural man isn't receiving them who is the spirit man receives them if you want to receive something from the Spirit of God does he have anything can he prosper you can he heal you can he do all the work all of the you know I didn't read them but all the gifts of the Spirit mm -hmm. right majority of them are functioning by words if I want to receive something from the Spirit of God I have to say the thing that's how I receive it and I receive it where in my mind Do I receive it in my body no the natural man receives not the things of the Spirit of God for they are foolishness unto him neither can he know them because they are what spiritually discerned spiritually estimated spiritually appreciated spiritually received mm -hmm. so God the Holy Ghost is trying to give everybody all these things it says he's to every man severally severally he's given you as many things as you need but you're not receiving them because you're in the natural and you receive them with your spirit man mm -hmm. and then speak them verse 15 so he that is spiritual discerns all things does it say all things he that is spiritual who's he that is spiritual you're the real you your spirit man is the one who discerns who receives who appreciates the things that he gives you are you getting this I'm just pointing it out where it comes to it comes to your spirit man by his spirit we can know and receive all things but they all come to your spirit man and they all require you to speak what things do you have to speak the things that he gives to your spirit man mm -hmm. now thankfully we have a whole Bible full of promises that we know he already said mm -hmm. start taking verses of Scripture that say by Jesus stripes I was healed or the blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it when I say that mm -hmm. what's going on I'm speaking in agreement with the Spirit of God mm -hmm. he's already said it I know he already said it because it's in the book I just say it myself are you here yes. but I'm trying to get you to locate 
the real you where these things actually operate from God is a spirit who speaks things and they come to pass he made you a spirit who speaks things and they come to pass so we walk with him the Holy Ghost who is a spirit by saying things that's how we walk with him we're in agreement with him Amos 3 3 says how can two walk together except they be agreed or be in agreement or it's saying the same thing that's how we walk with him he is a spirit he says things I'm a spirit I say the same things when I do I'm walking with the Spirit of God so we walk with him in the Spirit by saying things we're saying spiritual words I don't you know it doesn't often feel like it sometimes it does but we're not going by our feelings are we when we when we say a verse of Scripture we're not going by how I feel about that verse of Scripture eventually you probably will feel better about it or even how you think about it it's not about how you think about it say it's not about, it's not about how I think about it that should be freeing in and of itself because I don't think I'm thinking I didn't think I didn't think my faith I didn't think my faith the way I was supposed to think the way it's not gonna come to pass because I didn't think it doesn't matter what you thought about it it matters that you said about it because the action of the spirit that you are functioning as a spirit is by saying things we walk with him the Holy Ghost as a spirit by saying things we walk with him in the spirit by saying things verse 13 which things also we speak right he was speaking things and those things we also say also also, also means he spoke them now we also speak them mm -hmm. which things also we speak with him that's how we're walking with it out of your spirit shall come forth words those words will be the substance of things what things the things that you said they will come out of the spirit and say here I am but where did they come from your mind your body no they came out of the spirit out of your spirit shall come forth words you need to learn how to speak them so if you want to know him as a spirit you must learn to speak his words is this making sense mm -hmm. <laughs> he is a spirit he's a speaking spirit you're a spirit you're a speaking spirit if you want to walk with him you want to know him you have to learn how to speak his word you need to learn his language how he how he talks his lingo his jargon he talks faith mm -hmm. he speaks things and they come to pass spirit words I know that sounds a little funny but you need to speak in the spirit words you need to speak the words that are coming out of your spirit you need to put the time in to learn how to speak his language what do you mean you mean you mean speaking in tongues I do mean speaking in tongues but I also mean speaking his word speaking in agreement mm -hmm. right it takes time it takes effort you have to you have to go there I find it curious I know I've said this so many times but the Holy Ghost the first thing he did when he came into the earth was give people the ability to speak as he gives them utterance mm -hmm. it's the first thing he did. does it today when you receive the Holy Ghost the words will begin coming up out of your innermost being Jesus called it the belly out of your belly will flow rivers of living water mm -hmm. John chapter 7 comes out of your belly why that's the innermost part of your being it's the first thing the Holy Ghost did was he gave you the ability to begin say begin begin, begin speaking as he gives you utterance his language saying his things into the earth into your earth into your world and you get better at it the more you do it so speaking in tongues a lot helps you to locate your inner man lots of times I'll be praying in tongues under my breath what do you mean under your breath well nobody else can hear me I'm just praying in tongues and worshiping the Holy Ghost with my inner man my mind's not active while I'm praying in other tongues. I read books while I'm praying in tongues it just goes to show you that your mind isn't the one making up those words mm -hmm. 
and as I'm doing that all of a sudden he'll speak something down on the inside of me and I'll have to stop thinking about you know whatever show I'm watching or whatever book I'm reading and I'll, I'll go oh well that was good because I know he said something mm -hmm. to me but where did he say it in my mind no it came to my inner man speaking in tongues a lot helps you to locate your inner man you realize that it's the real you that you're speaking from mm -hmm. let your tongue do the work stop trying to do the spiritual work with your mind mm -hmm. most people do that when you say you got to believe something they're trying to believe it with their mind mm -hmm. let your tongue do the work say that let, let my, tongue my tongue do, do the, work. the work your spirit man is in the spirit world he has no problem believing that whatever you're saying will come to pass mm -hmm. let your tongue do the work mm -hmm. James chapter 3 verse 2 if any man offend not in word the same is perfect man able also to bridle the whole body so he's saying words and He's able to bridle or turn about the whole body. What if your body's full of sickness and disease? How are you going to turn that around? With your mouth, with your tongue. Let's read on. Behold, we put bits in the horses' mouths that they may obey us, and we turn about their whole body. Behold, verse 4, behold also the ships, which though they be so great and are driven with fierce winds, yet they're turned about with a very small helm, whithersoever the governor listeth. Even so, the tongue is a little member and boasts great things. Behold, how great a matter a little fire kindleth. Even so, the tongue can turn about your whole body. How's the tongue going to do it? by saying words let your tongue and your words do the heavy lifting heavy lifting I mean heavy believing stop trying to believe it with your mind your mind doesn't believe you can't believe it's not designed to believe everything mm -hmm. but your spirit man already believes it you just need to let your tongue do the heavy lifting let's look quickly at mark 11 like I've said before I'm required to turn to mark chapter 11 verse 22 23 otherwise they take away my word of faith license <laughs> let's look at verse 22 and Jesus answering and said unto them have faith in God who, have, who are we just talking about who's this whole message been about the Holy Ghost is God he is a spirit so we're supposed to have faith in him or another translation says have the God kind of faith well let me before we even read on what is the God kind of faith what do we know about God the Spirit he says things and they come to pass which means he believes they come to pass this is how he does things he's a spirit that says things say the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost is, a is a spirit that says things and they come to pass say I'm a, I'm a spirit I say things, I say things and they come to pass, come to pass. When, I this, when I do this I'm walking, with God. I'm walking with God so when he says have the God kind of faith this is exactly what we're talking about look at this verse 23 for verily I say unto you that whosoever shall think mm -hmm. no nope. whosoever shall say unto this mountain something right be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart what part would that be I'm not talking about your physical heart you don't doubt anything with your physical heart it would be your spirit man are you here so you're not doubting with your spirit man but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass what is the thing that that man is believing in his spirit man he's believing the thing that he says what is the thing that he says his words he's believing his words come to pass are you here people try to believe that the mountains gonna move and that's where they're missing it listen your inner man believes the things you say come to pass this is exactly what Jesus is talking about let 
your words and your tongue do the heavy lifting when I say by Jesus stripes I was healed sickness cannot stay in my body I'm my mind yes I agree with it with my mind but it, frankly it's irrelevant because it's not mental words I'm saying I'm speaking in agreement in the spirit and with the Spirit the Holy Ghost that by Jesus stripes I was healed are you here and I let my tongue do the work I let my tongue turn the ship it didn't say turn the ship with your mind or turn the ship with your body it said turn it with your words because you are speaking spirit and you believe the things you say comes to pass you access these things all of the things through spiritual actions and the number one spiritual action is and must be speaking words of agreement and you let your tongue do the work spirit man already believes it you're designed for it you believe the things you say come to pass say i believe, I believe the things i say, things I say come to pass no one's asking you to believe something happened with your mind mm -hmm. you're just supposed to believe out of your inner man that the things you say come to pass mm -hmm. you access these things through spiritual actions words spoken sowing to the spirit mm -hmm. worship God is a spirit they that worship him are you getting this I'm sowing to the spirit worship I'm sowing to the spirit words and then of the spirit I'm reaping the things and where do I reap them in my spirit man first and then they come to pass as I say them let me pray for you Holy Ghost I thank you that people heard this word this evening and as they begin to lift up their voice and say the things of the Spirit of God they Holy shall Ghost see things God like they've never seen them before today. and great things shall take place that have been held back Holy for years God because now we're today. getting in line and walking with the Spirit of the Holy living Ghost God in God earth and these days today. shall be great says the Spirit of the Lord Holy in Ghost Jesus God name Amen. The Father is in heaven, Jesus at his right hand. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth.